But hey, Jesse, I have some questions for you. But before that, we're going to play a video of you absolutely destroying the waves. We have this video of Jesse here in, in Maui surfing Jaws. So let's watch it. So guys, I mean, that video is just, I was watching it today and I was like, oh my God, imagine just going down in one of those waves. It's insane. So like, Jess, can you like give us a description of what the wave jaws actually is? Because I don't think the video does it justice. Like, so what is it? Like, how is it? How, what's the feeling? What is your feeling when you're there? Like. I mean, it's it's a pretty magical place where you know most waves in the world or most beaches in the world, the the way that the ocean floor sets them up is they tend to top out at a certain point. So you know, at a lot of beaches here, after like a ten or twenty foot wave, the waves just don't really get any bigger. They they kind of get all messy, and it makes it impossible to really ride. And Jaws has this incredible ocean topography where it channels these, you know, that has these deep water channels. So it funnels the waves in to create, honestly, like as big of a wave as you can get. I'm sure there's been days where the waves have been over 100 feet there. And fortunately, you know, it breaks, let's say, anywhere from five to ten times a year during a good year. And a few of those times are probably going to have wind. So for the, the select few kiters, we get, we get just a few days a year to go out there and ride. And each day is so incredibly wild and challenging and just, yeah, such a trip to try to wrap your mind around what you're doing out there. And it's, it's hard because you don't get a lot of time to practice. It's not like, you know, going to the lagoon and doing freestyle where you can go there, hopefully, you know, like every day of the week and try the same trick over and over. It's, it's so wild because we have, yeah, like, you know, maybe one good day a year where it's really big. And out of that day, maybe you'll get 10 waves. And out of those 10 waves, maybe the biggest wave of the year is going to be your first wave. So it's, it's so challenging because you don't really get a warm up on those days. It's, it's right into it. And yeah, you kind of just got to gotta be mentally and physically prepared and be ready to take a beating. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine that. That looks like it's really intense. And Hannah, feel free to just comment anytime you want while they're talking. But yeah, Jesse no, I'm just am amazed by Jesse. Like it's insane what he does in the waves, and I think it's like you gotta trying to tame a beast, you know, and you just gotta yeah learn to surf it. And it's you know it's insane. It's super inspirational, Jesse. I love it. Takes a it's lot of insane. hard work to get to that kind of level to even think about that. So yeah, and I don't know how hard you work at everything. So it's awesome. Yeah, 